What's good gang? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Phil S2K. I know we're not in the S2000. We are in the big body Civic SI. This is a 2008. And today, I'm going to be doing something totally different. Something you haven't seen me do before. And man. Yo. Did you hear that? What the hell was that? Oh shit. Oh, he left his camera in the car too? Oh. But not seriously though, guys. Today I'm gonna be rolling my fenders on the SI. Um, I wanna prepare it so that way when it goes time for me to repaint the car, I don't even have to think about uh, getting my fenders rolled again and cracking paint. It's already done, I don't even have to think about it. So, with that being said, once I get off of work today, I'm going to be heading over to my boy's shop, um, JR, and he's going to show me how, but I'm going to be the one doing it. Should be really, really fun. I hope I don't bake in my fenders if I do. Oh, well, it's part of the game, right? But um, I'm going to go back inside, get some more work done. Once I'm out of work, we are on our way. Let's get this content, baby. Get that gas. Pulled up to the shop. Yeah, I got gloves. I think it's the one I do. That's OD. Alright, before you start recording shit. We're just heating up the quarter panels. So that way, it's able to flex a lot better. So being that I haven't done this before, JR is going to adjust it so that way um, we can just roll the fender no problem because it's all about height adjustment and everything. So once he's done doing that, your boy is going to attack it. Hopefully I don't bake in my fenders. So before rolling your fenders, you always want to make sure you clear out whatever's inside the wheel well. It will show in the quarter panel. I've heard multiple stories about that shit. You normally use it for like, I saw him using it on like interior pieces. Well, guess what? I mean, I don't really feel any rocks or anything in here. So you know how to do it, right? No, but I'm gonna try. So pretty much, this is just—it's just like I said, it goes back and forth. Mm -hmm. So this adjust it. This kind of like when you adjust this, it kind of moves it forward. Mm -hmm. So you kind of just have to look at, at the angle and try to like—you can adjust this to tilt it forward and back. You can move it up and down. Like okay. you pretty much just gotta see how you think or how you wanna roll it. So usually I try to tilt it a little bit more. Or this is super fine. 
It doesn't really seem like it's touching though. What? Right now? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't adjust it. I didn't. I didn't start. Yeah, so it. Okay, now it's touching already. Yeah. Doing it a little bit, just. I mean, people like to do it fast, but Let's try to heat it up a little bit more. You don't do it when you're while you're huh? you, you heat it. You can only go off of there. If you look, you can probably see it's already kind of rolled a little bit. Yeah, like you can tell the difference from back here, look, because you can only go so much. Yeah, just try to go. See how far can you go? Alright, that's it. That's it, that's it. Yeah, try not to touch the customer with this. So now you just go back and forth a little bit. If it's rolling pretty good, mm -hmm. you can make it tighter a little bit. Yeah, that's gonna make it, it a little bit yeah. tighter. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah. It doesn't really look like it's baking in it. So how would you do the pull? Like if you wanted to pull it. So technically it's the same way, same concept. You're just like pulling, yeah. pulling more. Actually, you're technically pulling it a little bit right now. When I roll for this, I like to push on it and then roll it uh -huh. and go with it so it doesn't pull it. So technically you're rolling it and pulling it a little bit. Because I feel like on the last one, my fist was pretty flat. Yeah, you just you got something. You gotta keep going with it. Was it this way? To the left. Oh, I'm making it too much. You're good. Tires though. All right, you probably won't be able to see it, but it is rolled. It's really not as bad as you think it is. So if you're someone that's like, I'm a do-it-myself kind of guy, I think I can do this without paying someone $100 a corner or $50 a corner, and you go get yourself a rolling kit, I think you'll be able to do it. Because I know for a fact I was kind of nervous to do this, and now that I see it, it being done, and I'm doing it myself, it's actually not as bad. Yeah. All right, so he's gonna try getting this VSX uh, down to nine and a half to see how it fits. It does have a meaty tire. It's actually off of S2000 too, so. But this is not going on the S2000. This is going on the big body SI. Oh, yeah. Just little hints for you guys. But uh, we're gonna test fit it on here and see how it looks. Still got a little poke to it. Should I remove the other jack stand from the other side? Uh, yeah, just well, one. they don't got no tire on it though. On the other side? Yeah. That's, that's fine. I'm not taking it fully off the jack. Okay. Well, you're in coils anyways. Just take that jack stand off. Take the what? The jack stand. Take it off. Like I said, little subtle hints. Well, on this? I mean, it's actually not that bad. Ooh. Damn. 
If I got camber arms, that would be good. We're already on the floor this side. Huh? We're almost on the floor on that side. Yeah. <sighs> need definitely need the camber arms. Oh, it's still going. Yeah, but that side's gonna be on the floor already. <laughs> Okay, math guru. Shit. Tired? Now oh, my kneecaps hurt. <laughs> you get on your knees a lot? Chill. Why you out? Why you not going to Simply Clean? I'm not a Simply Clean car. Who the hell brings their car from over here to Simply Clean? What the fuck? I told you to think Really? Here. Yeah. Hold on, put this in there so you don't lose it. Did you tilt the, the roller back? I think so. Turn that to the left, I mean, to the right. Shut